Hi everyone, today we will build multi-step by progress with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. There are four circles, next and previous buttons and progress bar. At first, the previous button will be disabled and at the last step, the next button will be disabled. Each time we click on the next button, the progress bar and the circles border will be active. When you click on the previous button, it will be disabled. Let's get started. First, we create a container class, then we create a class called steps, there will be four spans and the class names will be circle, two, three and four. The second class name of the first span will be active. Now we are creating a class called progress bar and this will be the indicator in the div. Finally we create the buttons previous and next. Previous button will be disabled at first. Now let's move on to CSS. As usual, the margin and padding values will be zero and block sizing proper box, font family, pop pins, sans serif. We add style to the body. The height will be 100 V for height. We use display flex to align everything inside the body to the center of the page. Align item center and justify content center to align vertically and horizontally. Background colors will be dark gray. Okay, we will add the style to the container div, display flex, flex direction column to align bottom to bottom, align item center and gap 40 pixel, max width 400 pixel and width 100 persons. Now we will add a style to the steps class with circles. Display flex, align item center, and justify content space between. And position relative and width 100 persons. Now we choose the circle class. Display flex, align item center and justify content center. Width and height of the circles will be 50 per pixel. And color gray. Font size 22 pixel. Font weight. 500 and scroll the radius 50% borders 4 pixel solids and dark gray background colors And we add transition effects. And transition delay 0 seconds. 
when the circle is active the transition delay will be 0.1 seconds border color will be green and colors will be green okay now we will add the style to the progress brush position absolute 8 4 pixel width will be 100 percent background will be dark gray and z index minus one we add a style to the indicator position absolute it's 100 percent and width will be zero percent transition all 0 0.3 seconds and ease select the button class display flags and gap 20 pixel now we add styles to the buttons padding 8 pixel from top and bottom and 25 pixel from left and right background color will be green ok color will be white Border radius 8 pixel and font size 1 RAM or 16 pixel, font weight 400, cursor pointer, and we add box shadow. Okay, transition all 0.1 seconds linear. Finally, we will add the style for button active and disabled. Button active transform scale 0.97. Button disabled background color will be pale green when disabled okay and the cursor will be not allowed that's enough CSS now let's move on to JavaScript First, let's define the circle indicator and buttons using document objects model. We use query selector all. And progress bar. Buttons We create a variable called current step and the initial value will be one. Now using for each let's create a loop for the buttons.
and from now on using the buttons at even listeners we use click event and the name of the function will be update steps now let's create the function Its parameters will be events. Let's see what console log and events targets ID correspond to. When we click on the next button, we reach the next button. When we click on the previous button, we reach. Oh, disabled, yes, okay. Now, if event target ID is equal to next, the current step increase. If it's equal to previous, current step will decrease. Okay. To test this, we create loops for circles with for each. We use stamp with light rails. If index smaller than current step, the active class will be added. If not, it will be removed. We will adjust the width of the progress bar. We will use tablet light wheels. Current step minus one divides circles length minus one multiplied by one hundred, of course, in percentage form. Now we will set it to be disabled, in which case the button will be active, in which case we will use if else for this. If current step is equal to circles length the next button disabled will be true. The previous button is index 0 and the next button is index 1 you know else if current step is equal to 1 previous button disabled is true if there is anything other than these two conditions we will create loop with forage and button disabled false buttons forage that's it let's test it now
Well, sorry about that. Okay. We have completed our project and it's running smoothly. Today we build a simple multi-step progress bar. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel.